Praxis. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the BSS V4. I cannot keep the names that they create for these things in my head. This is a flashlight that can be mounted onto a rifle, and we're going to be talking about that in this video. I'm also going to be comparing it to another flashlight that's made by the same company. Both are made by Thrunite. One is an earlier model, and this is a newer model. So I'm going to be kind of comparing, you know, what they've had in the past with this new issue, some of the pros and some of the cons of it. First off, I want to address uh, why I'm in the library here. I always have to choose some kind of a setting whenever I I am doing a video. Uh, I know that it's the Christmas season and oftentimes you'll kind of pop yourself in, some, in kind of a holiday uh, setting, but you know, there's just, there's too many photos out there with families holding firearms in front of Christmas trees. And uh, I just think the whole thing is kind of lame, you know, kind of mixing the season of peace with firearms. I know firearms aren't only exclusively used for violence. <laughs> but there is that connection there. And, and you know, the defense that most people will say is it's like, well, a rifle, it's just a tool. Uh, you know, okay, yeah, but you know, you don't see a whole family standing in front of their Christmas tree with, with like forks or vacuum cleaners or a bicycle pump. So there are tools in those photos, but they're not the ones in people's hands. So I decided let's keep it neutral. We'll do it in the library. Uh, and uh, there's a lot to go over here. First off, this is the, okay, what's the name of this thing? The BSS V4. This is it right here. I have it mounted onto this SR-22 rifle and it's pretty cool. Uh, it uh, has a lot of power in it. Uh, it, it has a, a really long run time and it, it's quite bright. I'm gonna flip the thing on here and you can see, that's a pretty bright, that's a pretty bright, bright flashlight. This is brighter than the one that they uh, have made in the past. Uh, the one that I'm gonna be comparing this to, by the way, is, I can remember this one easier, it's a TW-10. Um, this is brighter than the TW-10, also made by Thrunite. Um, and it also has some other kind of cool features. Uh, one of the uh, features of this is that it can work at some different illumination settings. There is a button right on the top and you can get some, some lower power illumination. With that, it has a couple of different uh, illumination settings. Oh, I'm sorry, here we go. So it's a little brighter then much brighter. It kind of uh, cycles between the three of those. And then uh, there's the button on the back that turns it all the way up and uh, turns it all the way off. Another way of turning this on and off uh, is uh, different from what they've uh, had in the past. If you unscrew the back here, that's how you get at the battery. This is one of those uh, weird 18650 batteries that I'm not a huge fan of, but they do have a long run time. Uh, there's this little thing, and this can screw on to the back. I'm not going to put it on all the way, but just enough to kind of demo for you what this thing does. What this is, well, now I'll do it all the way. Let's go, let's go all out. It's Christmas after all. Okay. So this thing is on, and this got the, it's got this little dongle here, and I, I haven't uh, affixed this to my rifle yet, and I don't know that I will, but what's ne neat about it, actually it'll be over on this side, what's neat about it is that uh, this uh, can be used to turn it on and off. You can do it back here, so you don't have to be uh, flinging your hands up to the front, and that's, that's pretty cool, you know, you gotta kinda get the... Uh, uh, wire so it's not interfering with the you know the mechanism of your rifle i've been a i think it'd probably be something like that uh, i have been kind of reluctant to uh put this together and attach it here just because i don't know i don't like the idea of sticking stuff to my rifle i, I might go there but one of the the downsides if you uh, attach this here is when you want to recharge this battery it's rechargeable with a usb port when you want to recharge this battery uh normally what you do is you just take it right off the rail here uh, the whole thing just pops off and then you can bring this to wherever you have your charging station unless you've stuck it with like sticky tape and it's like kind of sticky foam is the way they say to uh, uh, affix this onto your rifle if you've attached these two things together you kind of you, know, you can't really just uh, detach the thing from your rifle and then recharge it that way uh, that puts you in a position of uh, having to make a choice one is that you take your entire rifle and you leave it uh, next to your charging station where your kids have like their iPhones <laughs> and everything else which to me I don't know it seems a little bit irresponsible to do that uh, the other thing that you can do is every single time you want to recharge it is you can unscrew this thing here and leave this part attached to your rifle and then have this on standby and put that back onto the uh, the flashlight and then you can detach the flashlight and then you can you know, bring it to the charger and then you can charge it safely uh, that way. So that's kind of one downside 
of this, I don't have any advice on exactly how it would be, you know, great to change that because the idea is you're, you're putting a button on the side of your rifle. So I don't, I don't have any direct advice for that or say, oh, that was a stupid way of doing it. I think that kind of makes sense. Uh, you know, give them that you're trying to get the controls all back here. But, it, you know, that is kind of a downside that if you do attach the thing, you either have to kind of modify the flashlight every time you take it off and if you want to charge it or you got to leave a rifle, you know, out in a place that maybe isn't all that, uh, that safe. I don't know. Maybe they make rifle safes with USB charging ports in them now. I'm not familiar if they do that. So anyway, uh, this is the again the, the BSS V4 uh, and I like it it's nice and bright uh, and uh, it has the you know the different illumination settings and it I mean it's a flashlight <laughs> it functions it has a long uh, runtime and the through night products I've always been very impressed with I've done product reviews on a lot of different companies and I have been uh, very honest so the the companies that stick with me are the companies that make good products that I tend to like through night uh, you know uh, keeps checking in with me because I've always been very positive about their stuff and that is because I honestly love the stuff uh, I've you know, worked uh, with other companies where they'll send me stuff and I'm, I'm very honest it's like this is, you know, there's not a lot of high points to this. So uh, it's, it's not, I, I, I prefer to just be honest about things and like let, let the cards fall where they will. And with the through night stuff, I've, I've always been very impressed with its durability and, uh, you know, just how the whole thing works out. So that is their new offering. If, uh, you know, you're turned off a little bit by some of this crazy stuff or you don't need a light that is quite as bright, I would recommend also uh, their uh, through night TW10. It's a smaller profile thing and I've got it here on, uh, this is my, uh, my Bren, my CZ Bren. Uh, and I, I kind of like this as well. Uh, it, it has uh, the buttons uh, for actuating it are right up on top. And you know, it's not as bright as the other uh, light and it, do, it only has an on off um, setting so it's it's a little more simple but I, I don't think that those are necessarily bad things I, I think with flashlights it's okay if it's on and if it's off so um, uh, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more basic uh, the TW10 uh, it's a you know smaller profile thing it just uh, unscrews off the rail and it's very easy to just you know charge it at your charging station so those are two options both made by through night if you're looking for some way of illuminating what you're doing when you're using a rifle and you know to be honest the new one is pretty cool I kind of like the old one because it is very small profile and simple. And I'm a big fan of simple. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.